So I wanted to give a quick overview of SciCapture's capability to auto extract data from multi-page documents. One of the things that we do, we have the option of pre-OCRing a document and then running pattern matching across the entire text. So if you've got, um, you know, from one to eight page documents, and you have no idea where the information is going to occur. Uh, there's no custom setup. You don't have to go in and set up zones on each page to look at different information. We'll parse the entire text, find the pattern, auto extract it. So in this case, I'm going to bring in some land deeds. And these are, uh, I went ahead and, and downloaded some of these from the, the Massachusetts land deed repository. And you can see here that the majority of them are one pagers, but the book number, which is an identifier, exists at, at multiple locations on the page. It can be anywhere in the paragraph, it can be down in the lower section, it can be all over the place. Now for demo purposes, I built some dummy docs as well that I threw in at different page levels. So you can see page one of this document is not the deed. The deed is actually page two. This particular one, I threw in a bunch of purchase orders just as distractors, and page seven actually has the deed information. So what you're going to see is SciCapture pre-OCRs this document. It's going to run through its recognition process. It's going to run its pattern match across all the pages of the document. So this can be very handy for, uh, as I said, variable page documents where you don't know where the data might be. We've also got some customers using this for business intelligence where they want to extract data regardless of where it occurs within a, a multi-page document set. So in this example, you can see that we, uh, we quickly extracted the um, book information. So if I zoom in and um, let's see right here, book 4724. So one of the challenges here in these older deeds is that that book number can occur anywhere on the page or anywhere in the document. Regardless of where it is, we'll auto extract it. Now on this next, uh, on the last document, just to show you how we handled this, you can see it's a nine page doc. The seventh page is where the book information is. Okay, so we went through, auto extracted the book data and you can see here if I, uh, if I come down and zoom in, um, we've got book 8163, we auto extracted 8163. Okay, really quick and easy. Um, now in the QA module, obviously I'll go through and uh, delete these pages so I don't get all that garbage in the back end but very easy to come in, delete this info, and uh, click done. We'll auto delete those, and then we'll move on to migration. So let's go ahead and look at how the, the land deeds can be sent to SharePoint. Um, what I did, I auto built a, a library and then a folder structure with a land deed parent folder and then subfolders um, for each of the book numbers. And I can come in here, you can see I've migrated these multiple times, but um, I auto name the file and then populate metadata columns. So it's a really quick and easy way to extract data, pass it to SharePoint and build a nice structured repository on the back end. If you have any questions, contact sales at sigen.com. Thanks.